So this question is another single phase AC question. So we'll just put that top here so we know what we're working with. Single phase AC. And in this one, we're dealing with an or C series circuit. And I'll sketch out the circuit just so we're clear which one we're working on. Or C series, which means we have a resistor connected in series with a capacitor, like so. And we're given the values of resistance in the question to be 15 ohms, and the capacitance, sorry, the capacitive reactance. So that's actually going to be XC, if we're being correct here, of 10 ohms. And this is connected to an AC supply. Of 230 volts at a frequency of 50 Hertz and the question just like in our RL circuit is asking us to work out the magnitude and the phase of this current now just to recall we're working with AC circuits here so Ohm's law applies and the relationship between the impedance current and voltage are shown in this triangle here. So, for example, if we want to get the current, we need to work out the voltage and impedance. Now we have the voltage already, it's this value here. So, voltage is 230 volts. But we need to get the impedance of this branch here. Set. Now Z from your formula Z is going to be R squared plus XC squared and we get the square root of that. So we have those two values, we can pop them in and it'll be 15 squared plus 10 squared and that works out then with your calculator at 18.03 ohms so that's the magnitude of the impedance for these two components our resistor and our capacitor in series so now we want to get the magnitude of the current i just using ohms law It'll be voltage over impedance. So we have our voltage. It's 230 over the magnitude of our impedance. 18.03 ohms. We stick this into our calculator and you should get out 12.76 amps. So that there is the size or the magnitude of the current flowing in the circuit. So this is the magnitude of the current flowing in the circuit. But in our question, we're also asked to work out what the phase is going to be. So if we want to get the phase, again from your formula, relating power factor, If you look in your notebook of formula, you'll see that the power factor is equal to the cos of the phase angle, theta, and that's also equal again to OR over Z. So look, we have OR, given at the start of the question. You calculated Z up at this part here. So we can rearrange this equation now to work out that the angle is going to be the cos inverse of R over Z, which will be the cos inverse of 
15 over 18.03. Remember that's stuff for space, which we'll down here. That'll be 33.69 degrees. So that's the phase. And this value here is the magnitude of the current. So that's part A of that question. Now if we want to work out part B, again it asks you to what draws the scale, but I'm just going to sketch it out here for so you understand how to do it. You can do, do, do the scale part yourself. But when I were asked to draw a phasor diagram, I also asked myself, well, what's common throughout this circuit? And we see that the current is the same throughout all components. I. So this I here is the same as I here, here. So that acts as our reference. I. Now, for the current and voltage across a resistor, so the voltage across here, V or, they're going to be in phase. Again, this is not the scale, but V or is of this phaser here because it's in phase with the current. And we have to go back there now if we want to know understand the relationship between the angles in our capacitors voltage VC and the current in that capacitor we use civil. So for a capacitor C the current leads the voltage current is ahead of the voltage. So if our phasers are rotating this way, well if I is ahead, remember the current leads the voltage and it's going to lead it by an angle of 90 degrees. And it's going to be slightly smaller than the voltage in the resistor. So I'm drawing this one slightly shorter than VR. And this will be VC, the capacitor voltage. Now the only one missing off this is our supply voltage, which we get by completing the rectangle or parallelogram. We've heard that before. So Vs will be here. And this angle between I and Vs, theta, is this phase angle here. Now notice that it's ahead of the voltage, it's leading. So it's leading because we have a capacitor in this circuit. Okay.